Hello friends. In this video, I'm going to tell you a hack to solve a particular type of question of number system. Now, number system is a very important topic as far as any of the examinations is concerned. And in number system, you will definitely find this topic of finding the unit digits using the method of cyclicity. Now, uh, we have seen that uh, there are different ways, there are different logics that different people will use to get the answer for this type of question. Now, the hack that I'm going to tell you today, definitely this particular thing will work for every type of question of uh, finding the unit digit of uh, any of the number raised to any power. Also, it will help you in reducing your dependency on different formulas and cramming a lot of things all right now generally we have seen these type of questions and people have learned that the cyclicity of unit digit for uh, different powers are different now what i'll say is the cyclicity of unit digit for any number raised to any power will always be four so i will reduce this much burden from your mind to learn the cyclicity of different numbers raised to different powers. I'll say that the cyclicity can always be treated as 4. Hamesha hum cyclicity 4 consider kar sakte hai. Yes, for every number. So the, the, the unit digit may repeat before the power of 4, but it will definitely repeat after every 4th power. All right. So you can consider the cyclicity for unit digit for any number raised to the any power as 4. All right, now once we have considered 4 as the cyclicity, now let's see how to find out the answer, how to find out the unit digit for any number raised to any power. Okay, so I divide the entire logic, entire different type of questions in two different types. All right, so let's say how, how, first of all, let's see how the question is asked. So there will be any number, let's say x and raised to the power any number. Okay, and we have to find out, so this uh, entire result can be a very big number, but we just have to find out the unit digit of uh, the result. All right, so for example, let's say uh, the base is uh, 23 and the power is 241. Okay, now like I mentioned earlier that I divide all these type of questions in two different parts. So the first part is when the power is not a multiple of 4 when the power is not a multiple of 4 i'll write it and so this is the first case and the second case will be when the power is a multiple of 4 as in it is of the form of 4k okay so the first case the first thing when the power is not a multiple of 4. So let's say the question is 23 raised to the power 241. Now in this case, what we'll do is we'll always divide the power by 4 and find out the remainder. So whatever is the power, divide it by 4 and find out the remainder. Now whatever the remainder is, replace this remainder with the power in the question. Okay, so in our case, the power is 241. So 241 when divided by 4, the remainder is 1. So instead of 241, instead of 241 in the power, I will write the remainder that is only 1. All right. So first of all, the power will become 1. The power has been reduced. Also in the base, just keep the unit digit. Since we have to find out the unit digit of the result, in the base, we will keep the unit digit only irrespective of the length of the number in the base keep the unit digit in the base so in the base i will have 3 and 241 was the power when divided by 4 the remainder is 1 so the power is now become 1 and the final answer will be 3 raised to the power 1 that is 3 so 3 will be the unit digit of 23 raised to the power 241 let's take one more example in the similar manner okay now, another example, let's say 367 whole raised to the power 466. Let's say this is the number. Now, 466, I can see that the power is not a multiple of 4. So, I can apply the method that I've just told you. Okay. So, in the base, I will retain only 7. 
and the power will become 466 when divided by 4 find out the remainder so remainder when 466 is divided by 4 the remainder will come out to be 2 in this case and the power will become 2 so 7 raised to the power 2 the result will be 49 and the unit digit of this result is 9 that will be the unit digit of 367 raised to the power 466 so yes 9 is the unit digit for this one okay similarly let's take one more example it's always better to uh, to basically understand uh, all these things with uh, a lot of examples okay so i'm taking another number 46752 a very big number okay 46752 whole raised to the power 29539 okay again a very big number in the power now how to deal with such cases so first of all considering the base the base will have only two so we'll consider unit digit in the base and now the task is to divide this power by four now for this i'll use another hack uh, to divide it by four and find out the remainder if you all remember that uh, the divisibility rule of four is last two digits so we just consider the last two digits and we will divide it by four okay so using the uh, the rule of divisibility of four I will not even consider the entire power. I'll just use the last two digits of the power. All right. So 39 when divided by 4, the remainder comes out to be 3. So the power will become 3 and 2 raised to the power 3 is 8, which will be the unit digit of such a big number. All right. So the hack for the day is in the, in the base, you can retain the unit digit. And in the power, you can just retain the last two digits. All right. Okay. So this was the first method when the power was not a multiple of four. All right. So when the power was not a multiple of four, what we'll do is we'll divide the power by four and write the remainder. Now let's look at the second scenario. The second scenario is when the power is a multiple of four. All right. So again, let's take an example. So let's say 473 whole raised to the power 264. Now 264 is a multiple of 4. Now whenever the power is a multiple of 4, then what we'll do is we'll replace the entire power by 4. That's it. Ab kuch bhi divide nahi karna, remainder nahi calculate karna. If the power is a multiple of 4, then replace the power by 4. That's it. Okay, base mein wahi karenge hum. What we'll do in base is, we'll just retain the unit digit in the base. So here, the unit digit in the base is 3. Since the power 264 is a multiple of 4, we'll write the power as 4 and do the calculations. The value of 3 raised to the power 4 is 81 and the unit digit is 1. So the unit digit of this, this entire number will be equal to 1. Right, let's take one more example. 368 whole raised to the power 39576 okay now as far as base is concerned i'll write 8 and the power look at this entire power no need to look at the entire power just check the last two digits 76 yes it is the multiple of 4 so the power is a multiple of 4 i'll write 4 instead of the entire power now 8 raised to the power 4 Iska value calculate karna padega. So the value of 8 raised to the power 4 is how much? Yes, anyone. So 8 raised to the power 4, again, you don't require the entire value. I just need unit digit. Okay. So again, a hack to save time. So 8 raised to the power 4 is 8 into 8 into 8 into 8. Now 8 into 8, just look at the unit digit. The unit digit is 4. Again, here the unit digit will be 4. Now when 4 and 4 are multiplied, the unit digit will become 6. So the unit digit will be 6 for this entire number. All right, friends. So this particular hack can always be used. There is no limitation for this method. You can always use this method and save your time, save your precious time at the time of the examination. So friends, all the very best for your examinations. We'll see you with many more videos like this, many more hacks like this. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.